Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Rodriguez Carter. Today we're going to talk about puppy buying during the holiday season and some of the do's and don'ts. And we're going to go on both ends of the spectrum. We're going to talk about breeders, uh, how to look out for bad uh, cut, uh, buyers, and buyers how to look out for bad breeders. So stay tuned and some, hopefully some of these tips help you in your endeavors of finding a puppy for your home. All right, so it's Christmas time. You want to get a puppy. And uh, the first thing I would tell you is a big no-no is purchasing a puppy for your child. I would not do that because it should be a family adventure. This pet's gonna be a part of the family. If you purchase a, you know, a dog for your 16-year-old child and in two years they go to college, you're left with the puppy, which is now a dog. So I think it should be a family event. Everybody should have desires for this animal. It shouldn't be just uh, the child or just the husband. It should be a, a family uh, endeavor and everybody should have their input on the type of animal they want. Now, when you're out here and you're shopping for, <clears throat> you're shopping for your puppy, you want to start looking for specific things first. You want to you want to do as much research on a breeder as possible. And instead of asking for AKC papers first, so you look knowledgeable, ask for health papers first. Because anybody who's genuinely concerned about the care of the puppy, they're gonna wanna know about the health. Because you can have a purebred dog that doesn't have any health papers that you purchased that's gonna get sick and die a week after you get it, doesn't mean anything. You wanna make sure that the breeder's taking their time They've taken this animal to the vet. They provided the, a, a, a rich environment for this, this puppy to grow and they're not sick. So before you step into something and you just grab a puppy because they got AKC papers, this is your biggest mistake. That should be your number two. If you're desiring AKC papers, then you should tell the person you are. You shouldn't play games with them. You shouldn't say, well, are they AKC? And then the breeder says yes. And you say, well, I didn't care. I'm not breeding anyway. That's you're looking on the bad end of that. So if you're looking for AKC papers, let the breeder know. If you're not, let them know, but don't play the back and forth game. You're gonna have a hard time finding a good breeder. If you start playing with good breeders, they're gonna cut you off. So you should already know up front how much you're willing to pay for a puppy. You should be looking for health paperwork for the puppy. You should want to get a puppy with AKC if that's your desire or without. But you should already know this. You should already have spoken with your spouse and your children on the type of animal you're looking for. You shouldn't contact a breeder, ask a lot of questions, and then say, I'll get back to you. I got to talk to my family. Again, you look indecisive. During the Christmas time, puppies go fast and you're going to eventually get looked over because a breeder's going to think you're playing uh, games with them. So you want to have a game planned out. Once you have the puppy, you want to already know what vet you're taking the puppy to, where they're living at, who's going to care for them when you're not around. You should have a list of these things. You should know because you shouldn't just grab a puppy and then we figure out why we're on the way. This is very bad for the puppy. They need to be in a stable environment. They need to have care for them 24 seven. These are some of the things that you really need to look at before purchasing a puppy, okay? So again, let's go over the list. You know, if you're going to a breeder and you don't know anything about the breeder and they can't refer any customers to you and they wanna meet in shady spots and they don't wanna give you their real contact information, these are red flags. Red flags need to be paid attention to. You should not just go, oh, well, the red flags, I'll fix the puppy when I get it. You're gonna get a nightmare. And I'm not talking about a hostile, aggressive puppy. You're gonna get a sick puppy. This is what we're trying to avoid. Now, on the flip end, you may get a puppy that has a lot of behavior problems, but if you go cheap, you're gonna get a lot of issues. The same thing if you're buying a vehicle. If you purchase cheap, then you're gonna get a car with a lot of issues. It just happens. Sometimes you get lucky and you don't get a lemon. And I hear a lot of people saying, well, I got mine from the, the shelter. I'm gonna tell you right now, there are a lot of great dogs at the shelter. So you can't compare buying a puppy from a breeder to going to the shelter. Those are, that's apples and oranges. I can go in a shelter and find a lot of great dogs, but you can, I can go to a lot of breeders and find a lot of bad puppies. 
those are apples and oranges stop trying to compare those two so once you get your mission set what you want to do then you need to follow through you need to know when you purchase this puppy it's for life not for this christmas or until the summer is over this is a life commitment this is one thing people do not they don't hash out i understand things happen like divorces and moving situation, housing situation, and jobs. I understand that. And I know every situation cannot be planned out. But if you are able to, you need to start hoping and planning to keep this, this puppy dog until they're about 12, 13 years old. That's gonna be the duration of their lifetime. That's gonna take up your lifetime. So that's something to keep in mind. You guys be careful out there. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving, happy uh, Christmas. You guys be great. And again, you know, let's get those puppies and get homes. Let's be out there, let's be responsible buyers and breeders. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in 2021 and you're showing a flux of pictures of your puppies that you got and the training they are going to need. And I'll be there for you when you need that. So you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching Madison Bell and you guys be great. Madison Bell, Jungle Sugar.